everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to our replay of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. We are going to head back into present day, we're going to leave the Animus for a little bit, check our emails and do all that cool shit, and we're going to see what we can find. I have not worn this hoodie scarf in a video since, I don't even know what part, of Assassin's Creed 2. So it's been a while, and uh, it's exciting. I'm very happy I have it back on again. Alright, I was supposed to play this first welcome thing this back, morning. Desmond. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you very much. That's actually kind of loud. But, um, I was going to play this first thing in the morning, but there was some weird system alert for Microsoft where a bunch of people couldn't sign in and they were trying to fix it, so I ended up having to start off with Five Nights at Freddy's 2 again. <laughs> and then I, it still didn't work after that, so I went and hopped into some rogue shenanigans, did some of that, and now it's working! So I'm getting a crap ton of stuff done for you guys today, and I like it. Let's talk to everybody. Hello! You still managing the teams out in the field? No phone line. Rebecca's working on patching us into the network. So how's it feel letting the lady do all the work? She's no lady. Hey! Well, you're not. Eh, much as the lady's me. <laughs> no. They're beef taquitos. I'm dipping them in salsa and eating them because I haven't had lunch and I'm hungry. Okay. Anything else? You think we're safe here? I'm more concerned with the other assassins out there. If Abstergo stumbles onto information about the temples, we could have a disaster on our hands. The only people alive who've heard of the temples are here in this room. For now. And who knows, maybe they're listening to this conversation and you just gave everything away. You brought them up first. You are paranoid, Desmond. Ah. Well played. Alright, anything else? I'm busy right now. Nope, nothing else. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to Lucy. Everything uh -oh. alright? She doesn't look good. I don't like being stuck underground with them out there looking for us. You're doing a great job. We're safe here. But for how long? Vidic won't give up. I know it. Neither will we. Good answer, Desmond. Very good answer. We have work to do. I only got one conversation with Lucy. Fine! No. Okay. Let's do a talk to Rebecca. Hello. Why do we have to stay down here all day? Abstergo's still looking for us. It'd be better if we never went out at all. You want the obvious answer? we run out of supplies. It's like being in a cave during a rainstorm. Yeah, well, knowing the Templars, monsoon season's about to arrive. Well, that's nice to hear. Thank you for the reassuring advice, Rebecca. You ever use the Animus? Your ancestors have such interesting lives. I went in once. It was pretty lame. Yeah, what were you? Some kind of spinster, probably. Worse, a Prussian mercenary. I spent hours firing guns. Boring! Yeah, guns are for sissies. That would be pretty interesting to me. Prussian mercenary, huh? I did not know that about you, Rebecca. Very interesting. We'll talk later. I guess, okay. That's all I can talk to everybody. Can I interact with any of these statues or just Altair? It looks like just Altair. Okay, let's go say hi to Altair, shall we? Can I do it now? Hey, wait. Yes. Hey, what's the matter, you out there? <laughs> That's racist. You're racist. Really? This is what you guys are doing. Oh, shut the fuck oh, up. Oh, no. God forbid I take a break. I've only spent the past three fucking weeks inside that machine. No, no, you're right. Let's all just screw around while the world falls to pieces. Hey, this isn't easy. Someone's stress know. level's a little right, high. Right, like we're all on vacation out here? Enough! Look, everyone's under a lot of pressure. But we're the only ones who can stop Abstergo, so we need to keep it together. She's right. We need to be a hive mind, people. Anybody up for some reconciliatory yoga? Anyone? Very sure. funny, guys. I'll, I'll go for it. I just made an innocent little funny joke, and she exploded on me. Like, holy mother of Christ. Hey, what's the matter, you, Altair? I can go up and say the same as I want. Hey, what's the matter, you, Altair? <laughs> I love it. Okay. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Let's check our emails. Okay. Ooh, I can check everybody's emails. Well, let's check mine first. Access granted. I get... Get off! Two of my taquitos are stuck together. If I hadn't said taquitos, that would be a very horrible thing to say. No. Okay. From Lucy. September 17th. It is September 5th right now. Okay. Monday. Anima session, everyone. Supply run, Rebecca. Clean up, Lucy. Day watch, Sean to relieve Lucy at three.
Thanks, Lucy. Okay, that's super fucking boring. All right, well, that's my inbox. That's it. Okay, yeah. Uh, Rebecca? Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm sorry. But Sean? How do I find passwords to these guys' emails? I imagine yours would be locked. You bitch. Okay, I want to go outside. And I want to show you the thing that didn't show up last time I was out there. Make sure you're back before dawn. There's an earpiece and a watch. Gotcha. These? Yes, take them with you. That's mine. I'm a disgusting individual. I'm stuffing my face on camera. I don't care. I'm wearing the big Tony Planet Assassin's Creed. I do what I want. Also, it's my channel, so fuck you. <laughs> well, I do know there's something up here. So let's go ahead and get it. Okay. Oh, well, it's supposed to be in here. I'm holding it. Like, I'm a little sick wrinkle vision, so I'm it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. One of five artifacts. Maria's feather chest. How it got up here, I have no idea, but yeah. Okay, and now the thing. Yeah, those down there. Ubisoft has said that they don't necessarily mean anything, but like, then why are they here? They said it was like some type of bug or glitch. It's like, okay, well then, out of all the updates you've released for this game, why don't you fucking fix it? It's a bunch of footsteps, like a bunch of footsteps. If you follow them. Stop right here. And if you follow them this way, they stop right about. Oh, this goes back further than I thought. See, I'm thinking this is just like leftover, like footsteps printed in blood from uh, the, uh, the 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 raid on Monteriggione. Not the raid. Um, the attack, I guess. On, on the villa. You see, and then they stop here. Which is where he went down into the sanctuary. So, I think, and we ran up those steps when we protected our sister, and the footsteps go every which way, so it seems like there was a lot of fighting going on. I think that's what this is supposed to be. Just a reference to the, to the, the attack on the villa. But again, I'm not sure. I know, that's what I wanted to show you guys, and I don't know where the other artifacts are. So we're not gonna go looking for him. Let's just go ahead and head back downstairs and go back to Ezio. Oh, World Preservation Site. Here we go, perfect. Built in 1290, the Villa Auditori is one of the Tuscan countryside's most beloved landmarks, a key force in the protection of Monte Regione for hundreds of years and a source of great architectural innovation. The Villa was destroyed during Pope Alexander VI's military campaign in 1500. Yeah. Help us preserve our history. Entering the ruins or removing objects from the site is prohibited. Yeah, well, I just collected the box. Sorry. And I'm assuming that's in Italian. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna do it one more time. <laughs> one more time. Uno mas vez. Hey, what's the matter, you, Altair? <laughs> I love that so much. It's so stupid. It's so funny. Ready when you are. By the way, speaking of Nolan North, who's the voice of Death and Miles, um, and Nathan Drake. <laughs> but, um, one thing I didn't notice is that he's totally in The Last of Us. You guys remember, those of you who played the game, you remember David? The, the, the guy who took Ellie hostage and was, got, <laughs> pretty much his face got turned into sushi? Um, he's voiced by Nolan North. I had no freaking idea. I, we were, I was watching the credits last night and I was like, and it said, and Nolan North is David. I was like, what? Like, it was awesome. Anyway, uh, no time to waste here. The, uh, full sync for this mission is to get through it. Uh, in eight minutes or less. So, yeah. Let's move fast here. <laughs> this is where we left off at the end of last episode. We just attacked, uh, were attacked by the followers of Romulus. And yeah, that's a thing. So, now we're down here in one of their many hideouts throughout the city. And, uh, we're gonna see what they have here. So that decoded letter was certainly suspicious. Okay, here we go. Remember to hold down A. Bleh. 
just got, I literally just came off of rope. So, if the controls are a little double up in my head, I apologize. Okay. Let me go over here. I feel like I don't want to rush through these levels. For you guys. But there is a timer. And I've said the challenge, the more challenging full sinks I'm going to try and do. So, I'm going to try and go fast. By the way, my smoke detector's still being a bitch. It's in like four different pieces, with the batteries out, on my desk, and it's still beeping. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> it was a combination of about to say something, and not expecting it to be that loud. <laughs> totally made me jump. How many times have I played this game? And it made me fucking jump. Okay, um, you know what? Fuck it, let's just jump down. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, they were right there. Where's the open one? Behind me. Alright, got a little bit of a climbing puzzle here to do. Wait, that is not correct. Where am I? Oh, here. Okay, over here. That one necessary? No. Uh, this one's necessary. Mm. Yep. I have a feeling I might not hit the eight minute mark. I mean, I might go over it. Just because I haven't played this in a while, and I don't have this game memorized like the back of my hand, like it is the left that was here! Ugh. Okay. Yo. Alrighty. Focusing, everybody. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm a little quiet and unentertaining. I'm focusing. E. E. <laughs> Alright. We're in. doesn't look so golden anymore but certainly burns golden that's for sure a lot isn't that lovely okay <coughs> explore the ancient ruins with pleasure avec plaisir I assume this is, uh, near himself. <laughs> okay. Backwards! Ugh. I love those cinematic jump shots. They're so cool. Alright, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a swing. Me. <laughs> I guess I have to climb up the pillars. See, the sucky thing is I can't tell what time I'm at. I can totally hit the pause menu and check, but I don't want to. How's my head look? It looks fine when I look this way. If this way, it looks a little awkward. But oh well. Okay. Yeah! There's a flag there, but fuck you. Sparta with the fist! And he's dead. Arr, right back after. Bitch. Okay, I don't remember this room exactly, but I think we start over here. Nope. Wait a minute. This is where I came from. Son of a bitch. Oh, we start over here. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm making the eight minute mark this time. Where am I going? 
my best to be fast. That's exactly what I wanted. Eh. Itching nose and totally playing game at the same time. Okay. That could help. Now I can get back up here. Now I can get back up here. Whichever one you wish to say. I don't care. Perfect. And I'll up if I fall. I keep forgetting to hold down A. Terribly sorry. Again, I just got off of Rogue, so. Wee! All right, we're in. Pardon me, sir. Poor unfortunate soul in pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. <laughs> I love Ursula. No! <laughs> Fuck! Actually, uh, I just, I just recalled that uh, Sarah, my good buddy Sarah, mwah, uh, your favorite Disney movie is Little Mermaid, yes? And I just sang one of the songs, so I bet you probably just got really excited from that. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes he doesn't make that jump, and it's really frustrating. I've already missed a couple jumps, so I don't think I can afford to miss another one! That could help if I fall. That's what I said last time, but you didn't want to say it, so fuck you. Okay, or, um... Hey, fortity, which is kind of fuck you. Or, uh, via farty fortity. Most of what Ezio taught me of Italian is the basic phrases like Buona Fortuna or uh, Molto Bene. But he also taught me many curse words. Like, uh, yeah, see, there we go. I have 10 seconds left on my clock. I'm not making it. Merda! Merda, which is shit. Diavolo, which is damn it. Cazzo, which is fuck. And, um. Perfect. I route up if I fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Canalia, I believe, is asshole. I used to know what cocksucker was, but I don't know what that is anymore. Yeah, I barely missed it. If I had gotten in that room up here in time, I would have totally done it. But oh well. Oh well. Let's go this way. Hiya, ya. Okay. Done. Ooh. Let's loot all of these chests. Let's see, uh, on the note of Little Mermaid, what's another Little Mermaid song? Um, under the sea, under the sea, sing along with me, Sarah. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter, take it from me. <laughs> out in the, s wait, um, out on the shore, they work all day, out in the sun, they slave away, or something like that. I don't know, <laughs> I think I got the lyrics wrong, sorry. <laughs> you probably know it, but I don't. Okay. I leave my family's armor here. One of the finest sets ever made. May you who finds it receive strength in battle. Change of handwriting. We have taken it and set it back behind the iron door. Six keys unlock it, spread amongst our brothers. It shall be said to come from Romulus, and they will worship it. It's actually from Brutus. Et tu Brute, then fall, Caesar. I don't like, I... The way Brutus's wife commits suicide, it's freaking brutal, man. It's like, uh... He was, like, he was like away at war or something where he was never home. So she got like super depressed and killed herself. But the way she killed herself was she went over into the fireplace and proceeded to swallow hot coals. Why would you ever want to die like that? Wouldn't a simple knife or rope be sufficient? Like, Jesus, you don't... Yeah. That's just messed up. Oh, fucking my life, goddammit. Wow, that actually scared me. My angle. What's up? Huh? Hi. Ah! Okay, I'm sorry. Call upon your good friend Bonnie to fuck me over again. 